Hello everyone and welcome to our second week of athletics. Um, again today, similar to last week, we're going to be looking at our three main areas of athletics which are running, jumping and rowing. Um, the, the, the session will be broken up into different parts where you again you can stop and start whenever you want to give things a go at home or if you want to take an extra um, five minutes just to give something another try um, before you move on you can it's entirely up to you um, equipment you're going to need today um, I've got some some hoops um, again if you don't have hoops that's fine you literally just need um, four targets so it might be some cushions it might even just be um, some bits of paper with numbers on one to four so you know which one is which and um, I've got a stack of cones again these are just for marking out areas or marking out distances which you can use anything um, that you've got at home that's safe to use and again we're going to do some throwing with a beanbag um, again with the beanbag you can throw anything that's safe to throw at home so um, before we before we start we're going to do a quick little warm-up so get ready for your warm-up and I'll explain what that is Okay, so for our warm up, um, all I've got is two markers, and we're going to work on we're gonna do a little bit of dynamic stretches today. Okay, so um, I'm literally going to demonstrate um, each one that I want you to do. But when you do it at home, I want you to try and complete at least three of each each activity, um, each stretch as we go. So I'm going to do them one after the other. Okay, so first um, stretch, all it is, we should be walking. Just getting our knees up nice and high, okay? No more than a walk to the cone and then have a little jog back. Okay, number two. This time I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So knees up again, but just trying to go a little bit faster the second time. Number three, okay? As our knee comes up, we're gonna push out. Knee up, push out, and again, just that walking technique of just knee up and pushing out. Okay, I'll do it on the way back just so you can see that technique from both sides. Okay, and this time I'm gonna do the same stretch a little bit faster. Okay, a little jog back. And this time, straight legs. All we're gonna do, just kicking our legs out nice and straight. Again, it just feel that stretch in our legs. Okay, this time we're going to go again, same stretch, but a little bit faster. As we're doing this, watch on the way back, my knees are keeping straight. So we feel the stretch all in our hamstrings, okay? So, like I said, try and do two or three of each stretch um, when you do it at home. And I'll see you in a minute for our main activity. Right, moving on to our first activity. Uh, today is going to be looking at our again our reactions and our speed okay so how quickly can we go from a standing position okay to um, accelerating into speed and then touching some markers so all I've got is I've got a starter marker here okay and I'm going to be facing away from the other three markers so I've got a yellow cone a blue cone and a green cone I'm going to be facing away and I'm going to be in the ready position so the ready position is literally knees slightly bent hands out and I'm ready to react okay um, a cone a color cone will be called and then I will spin and I will go and touch as quickly as I can which um, what color um, cone has been called all right so um, if you want to set this up and then take part as we do it or you can uh, watch it first and then take part after Okay, so I have got Mr. McGowan here to help us with this activity. So I'm going to call out some colours from here and he's going to react to whichever colours I call. So, are you ready? Blue! So it's really important, you're always back to that ready position, ready to react. Green! Yellow! Green. Okay, so this time I'm going to quickly shuffle the cones around, different order, so he doesn't know which um, what order they're in, 
and we're going to give it another try. So the cones have been shuffled, he doesn't know the new order and he's got to react to the new, um, to where the cones are now. So same again, ready position and blue. Always back to the middle, nice and quick. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Blue. So now it's your turn at home to have a try. Um, again, if you haven't got cones and you can use any objects um, that you can. Um, if you can get a parent or an older sibling or somebody at home just to call out the colours or objects for you, okay, that will help a lot because then uh, you'll be able to work on just your reactions. If you haven't got that, then watch back the video and do it when I was saying it um, over the video. Okay, um, give it a try. Try and go um, spend at least five minutes on this, maybe a bit longer. Okay, and really try and um, increase that speed each time. Okay, and remember, always back to that ready position at the start. Okay, and quick on the turn. All right. So, activity number two today, we are looking at throwing again. So we're gonna, I'm going to be using a bean bag again today to throw. Um, again, like I said earlier in the video, you use whatever you have at home that's safe to throw. I don't want you breaking anything. So um, what I've got is I've got four um, um, hoops. I've, I've made out four hoops, and this game is called uh, throw golf. All right. So these are almost like my um, holes on the golf course. So I've got hole number one is the red hoop. Hole number two is the yellow hoop. Hole number three is the blue hoop. Hole number four is the green hoop, okay? And I'm gonna go around the course and I'm gonna see how many times, how many throws it takes me to get the bean bag into the hoop. So obviously, as it goes on, it's gonna get a bit harder because they're further away. So um, I'm gonna have a little try on hole number one. So from my starting position, again, you can challenge yourself however you want at home. If you wanna make it a bit harder, you can have the holes further away or a bit closer. Um, to make it a bit easier for you. Okay, so hole number one, I will start again with the underarm throw. Okay, for this one, it's, I'm looking to get it in. So I've got the, the bean bag in and it bounced out. That counts as in. So my score for hole one is one. I got it, I've got a hole in one. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to hole number two, which is over here, our yellow hoop. This is a little bit further away now. It's gonna be a bit more of a challenge. Okay, again, I'm gonna go for the underarm throw. Okay, so I just missed. So now I take my second throw from where it landed. So I've had one shot and now I'm going for my second. So I moved to where it landed. And now to finish it off, that will be two, um, two shots for this hole. Okay, so I'm back to my starting position now. I'm gonna go around the whole course just so you can see how it works and then you guys are gonna have a go at home. So I'm now on hole number three, which is our blue hoop. Okay, so slightly further away. So I'm gonna go for the overarm throw this time. Okay, so again, use the other arm, use the other arm to um, direct where you want it to go, keep it nice and straight. Okay, so I've got one arm up in the air. I'm gonna throw the uh, bean bag. Okay, so I've um, had one shot to where the bean bag's landed. Now I take my second shot from where, from there. So I walk over. If you want to run in between, you can. And from here, again, it's my second shot, and I've got it in in two. So I've got one, two, and two. Now, can I finish the last hoop? Okay, a good score. So, again, even further away now, so I'm definitely going to use the overarm throw. Judge the distances yourself at home. Um, obviously, if it's a bit closer, you can go underarm. Ones that are further away, go overarm. So, go for the green. Okay, so again, hit the first shot. Now I'm taking the second shot from where it lands. And in for two. So, that is my version of uh, throw golf. Okay, you can set this course up however you want at home. Um, you can, if you haven't got the, enough space at home to make it so big, then you can make it a bit more challenging. Maybe you could put some obstacles in the way to make it a bit harder. Okay. Um, 
have a go yourselves. Okay, once you've done that, um, we're gonna move on to um, something else in a minute, okay? So for our final activity today, again, we're gonna be looking at some jumping. Now, we worked on the standing long jump last week and we're gonna continue with that today. Um, last week, we were trying to beat our own jump. Okay, this week I've set out a little challenge. So this is called um, Jump the River, okay? So as you go down, you're gonna jump over the cones and you're gonna try and miss out this middle section here. Okay, so you're looking to jump over the, um, over the cones. As you go down the river, it's gonna get harder because the cones get further apart. Okay, so the main technique I'm looking for now is um, similar to last week, okay? Really get in that balance ready position, okay? So knees bent, okay? And we wanna swing those arms, okay? Especially when we get further down, it's gonna get much harder. Obviously this is a smaller jump just to get us warmed up, okay? Um, but just get into the technique. It's really good to get into the technique of every jump we do. Bend our knees, swing our arms, okay? We're gonna jump over the river, and then we're gonna turn, and then we're gonna jump um, across um, and move up the river, okay? So, we're gonna do a quick demonstration for you. Okay, watch the demonstration. When you've done that, you can give it a go yourself. Okay, so we've got Mr. McGowan again here, who's gonna um, do our demonstration for this activity. So, he's gonna get into his ready position. And again, we're really looking for the swing in those arms as he jumps. So swing the arms, bend the knees, and jump across the river. As Soon as he's gone across, he's gonna step down to the next cone. Okay, and he's going to jump across again and try and make that jump. So as he goes down the river, it's going to get slightly harder now because the cones are getting further apart as he goes. So really, again with this, you can challenge yourself um, and you can set these cones distances however you want. And the final one to get across. Can he make the big jump at the end? Excellent, well done. Now he's made that look nice and easy for you. So once you've gone up the river, we're gonna go back down. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the big jump at the end and work our way back down. Again, you can take your time with this. It's not a race. I'm looking, all we're looking for is good technique and obviously jump in the distances. And back to the start. And there you go. So, so now you've seen the demonstration. When you're at home, um, set up your, your river uh, with cones again like earlier if you haven't got cones you can use anything um, as your markers to jump okay and give it a go remember what I said earlier about your technique really focus on getting into that position okay it's really important as well when you land that you land in that position as well to keep your balance okay we don't want to be falling back um, um, or falling down okay so have a go at it if you do it once and find it um, quite easy, then maybe make the markers a little bit further apart and give it another try. If you find it quite hard, then bring the markers in slightly to make it a little bit easier for yourselves. So adapt it to how, how you want, okay? But I wanna see you really challenging yourself if you can, all right? Right, so that brings us to the end of uh, week two. Um, well done to all of you who had a go at home. Um, I'm sure you all did really, really well. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just a quick little recap of what we did today. So, um, first of all, uh, in our warm up, we learned some dynamic stretches, so different dy uh, dynamic stretches. Um, then we moved on to um, our running, which was our, again, it was our speed and reactions and seeing how quickly we can accelerate from the ready position to spin and then sprint off and touch different markers. Um, we then went on to our throwing game, so our throwing golf game. Again, learning different types of throws, throwing with accuracy again, so trying to hit targets or trying to get it into, into targets. 
Um, we worked on the underarm throw, the overarm throw, okay, um, and then we finished off with our with our standing long jump um, challenge at the end. Again, starting off with smaller jumps and then trying to progress to bigger jumps. Um, again, using that technique of just bending the knees, swinging the arms. Okay, really important to to get that to get that right and to use that technique when it comes to jumping. So moving on next week, we will look at some more. Uh, we will do some more activities with our athletics and hope to see you all next um, see you all next week for for that.